Deuteronomy chapter 32 has 52 verses in it, so it's a long chapter. And at the end of it, we find Moses making his way to Mount Nebo, where God has instructed him to go because he's not allowed to enter the promised land. But he does, right before he goes, something very interesting. He shares a song, not that he sings it, but he gives the lyrics of this song about God. And listen to some of the lyrics. They're, they're pretty powerful. It says, give ear, O heavens, and I will speak. In other words, if you lift your ear to heaven, God wants to speak to you. And he says, let my teachings drop as rain. And rain in the Middle East was something that was not a curse like around here in Pensacola where it always rains, but it was something they, well, that was a blessing. The crops would grow. It's dry and arid there. The lyrics go on. And he says, for I proclaim the name of the Lord, Ascribe greatness to our God. He's a rock. His work is perfect. So Moses tells us to listen, that God wants to bless, that there's a solid foundation in his word. It's like a rock. And that God does things that are perfect. They're whole. They're consistent. And he goes on to say, For the ways of his are just, and God's truth is without injustice. Righteousness and upright is he. He describes God in this song. And Moses does a wonderful thing just before he kind of exits the scene, if you will, here in Deuteronomy chapter 32. He lays out some attributes of God that are powerful and that he wants the people of Israel to remember. And he says it like this. This is how he begins. Lift your ear to heaven. Let the Lord speak to you. And what a great reminder for you and for me that every day we should start by saying, God, I'm lifting my ear to heaven. I'm praying and I want to listen to what you have to say. Not only what you say to me sort of in my spirit, but what you have to say to me through your word. And then he begins to describe once again all the different attributes of what God is like. He's just. He's true. He's like a rock. He does things that are perfect. And he reminds the people that this is who you're going to follow into the promised land. And I would remind us, you and me, that this is who we are following into our promised land, so to speak, all the way from earth to heaven. Lift your ear to heaven and let the Lord speak to you today.